Did it tack well? Stitchy nice, well. One nice stitch and then I'm gonna It looks like one. the tears of so the gods. <laughs> I'm gonna put another one right here and then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. <laughs> he is he is putting the tears of the gods on, on the, the on the suspension. On the metal. On the metal. Please. Okay, do not look at fire. Anyone, don't Blue look. Flame, no good. Ah! Very good, sir. That was a good picture. I'm going to post it on the Instagram. Okay. On the Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chris, how many grabs do we need, bro? Like 15. 15? Like, oh, <laughs> we need all the grounds. We so, it looks like the harness is grounded down there on the valve cover and then here. Okay, so, so we had a ground right we there. We gotta feed the valve cover ground so that those grounds do something. Okay. So I would say there's a, there's a 10 here. Okay. And then the valve cover has a mount here, so just go from here to here. And then do one from the chassis to the end. Tranny or some yeah. shit? Chris, we zoom in there. And <laughs> ratchets. ratchets. Chris loves ratchets. Ratchets, bro. Ratchets love settle, me. Settle down, Chris. <laughs> can you settle down? Chris, Chris settle down with the ratchets. Bro, can you settle down? With Too many ratchets. <laughs> New battery. Let's see. Please, if you just can make my computer turn on, I'd be happy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit. Now we got shit on. Yeah, that battery is completely okay, dead. Alright, alright. Cool. So, Mike, tell me when the computer turns on. Okay. May I ask or no? What's the ignition? No. Okay, now? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 yes. Second switch is. Uh, the thing. The, uh, We're gonna find out, guys. Everything from the front is good. You're gonna need a lot of fuel. This shit's gonna soak it up. That is kind of quiet. That's full blast. Pressure looking like none. Huh? Did it fucking spill out somewhere? Right, listen, let's just make sure everything works. So I'm gonna um, check the starter because just listen to it. Ready? Nope. What? Starter's not engaging. It's just spinning. Where's the starter? Uh... What do you mean? Nope. Uh, it's free spinning. Do it again? Yeah, stop. Let me uh, tap it, I guess. Uh, the battery's too low. No, it's spinning. It's just not keeping... No. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. The battery's too low because the, the car just reset after I hit it, so... Yeah. Or it's not a good ground. Yeah, we'll charge it. No, it's just spinning. It's, it's not, not. It's not kicking it out. To kick it out, yeah, it doesn't have enough power. It doesn't have power to kick the engagement. So what numbers were they? Do you, so what numbers were they? For, huh? for Well, they're not numbered. Is what's well, I mean, you know, like okay, but this is. Let me go. Main power for computer ECU and yeah. all of that. So we'll turn this off. It'll reset all that. And I have to use a key though. Um, no, it's over. It 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 it, uh, it takes over. Okay. But it's nice to have the key on so everything else is functioning. Um. Then you got, uh, this is your uh, starter. Oh, we got a label maker? Oh, we got a label yeah, Oh, yeah, we got a label maker. starter, but it's, it's, it's momentary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the homies. <laughs> I got teased. I got foreplay, but no hard on. And uh, I did what? everything I could. You didn't have fuel. Hey, bro. I had some fuel. I would have started that bitch if you had fuel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're still waiting. I got to get some more toys for this thing. But, hey, let's power through it. I feel happy. My car, is, it, yeah, I've had for three something years about to start, so I'm trying to anticipate it, but it'd be nice. Let's go YouTube Mike here again, along with Dennis back here. Say wave to the camera, Dennis. I'm here. You saw his hand? Let's do, do that again. They didn't even know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, it's like, uh, well, they say it's a shaka in Hawaii, but it's like hang loose. I don't know. It's just like, what's shaka. up? We just say, we just say, do it to say hi and bye sometimes. Awesome, awesome. So we're doing some go fast goodies on the MR2 right now. If you guys are wondering, uh, if you go when you go really really fast, you kind of want to stop really really fast. So we are adding um, some extra, like I don't know, safety safety precautions. Um, number one, uh, we have these uh, 
spacers here. You guys are familiar with these. And these are ball joint spacers that go on here. And what the purpose of them is, is that it replaces the stock ball joint and corrects the spacing for a lowered car. If you guys can see right here, you see how it's like the sway bar is like right on it? Yeah, uh, that's right not supposed there. to. What do you think about that, bro? Yeah, no. So imagine I'm putting some weight on this and it pushes the suspension up. It's really, really, really close. So um, this corrects the geometry of the suspension uh, for the lowered cars. Uh, we want it low to the ground, so it's kind of like doesn't shoot up to the sky. You know what I mean? Um, further to go. When uh, this car is a wheelie machine, if you guys didn't see all the other turbo MR2s out there, um, shout out to all the the um, world record holders, um, uh, Boost Boys. Who's his name? Jose. Who's the number one right now? Nas Who's... 51. Nas, Nas 51. Man. Shout yeah. out Nas 51. Probably think... the cleanest out of the pack. I think his name is Josue or Jose, something like that. Jose? But, is yeah. he like Brazilian? Echeverria, I think. Is his yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, his is killing it just because his is a street car. And I don't know how you're doing it without no cage, brother. I think you need a cage because you have a deaf wish because that thing is freaking a rocket ship. Fast. Super fast, super clean. That custom wide body. That thing is nasty. So. Um, shout out to him. Uh, we are trying to get into that top 10. So um, right now we have the go, go Fast goodies, but I also have a big brake kit for this, okay? So this big brake kit, if you guys stay one second. We got some. We got some wheel wood. Whoa, look at these bad boys. We got some uh, Willwood four pit four four pot calipers. Uh, these utilize a Supra um, a Supra brake rotor. So we're upgrading the brake rotors on on this, and uh, also the calipers, brake lines, and suspension parts, um, just to make sure that we have stopping power because these bad boys are going like 160 to 180 miles an hour. Or so uh, people forget that. People forget that. And I know we have a parachute, but who likes to pack parachutes? Dennis, you yeah, like to pack no, parachutes? packing parachutes sucks. Packing parachutes suck. We rather look at the motor, see what's up with that. So half the time, I don't see you guys pull parachutes. So uh, right now, what we're gonna do is uh, take off the wheels, uh, kind of get everything the way we want to. Uh, this car has no brake fuel or brake uh, brake fluid at all anyway. So might as well change out the calipers, get something a little lighter, because. Dude, feel this. Look at that. What do you think? It's actually not that bad. I thought it was gonna be heavier. Right? So it's it's really Huge. light. Easy to change pads because if you just take this bolt off, the pads just insert right here. So oh. really, really easy to change uh, brick pads. Not like we're going to, like all the time. But um, yeah, we're, we're tightening her up. The fuel pump works. Um, all the electronics work. I do want to put power through the car so that maybe we could kind of get some sensor readings mm -hmm. and uh, see, you know, I kind of, I want to start it, but everything's not there. We have like, we can start it for five seconds, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we still have to figure out cooling. Yeah, it has no coolant running through it at all. But, uh, you know, it's just my ego. My ego just wants to hear it start for like one time because I like built this motor like over a year ago. I mean, I really want to see it like just turn on. Turn on, you know, and like see. great time, dude. This this freaking lighting is amazing, bro. You look so freaking ninja right now. Yeah. I tell you what. So we've been trying to get this ball joint that has never been removed ever in life. It's the worst thing ever. And uh, he's getting a little frustrated. Yeah, one more thing. Um, I had to kick it old school t style. This is my side. Yeah. This is. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give give the guy some. He's trying. No, it's turning away. Still turning away. Still turning away. I'm to cut this thing off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I say, uh, I say cut and then drill a hole in the center. So we're, this is the defeat of us. Right now, if we get a zoom in. Give me some. So this is the feet of us, this bolt right here. 
So this is the difference between a 10 minute job and a three hour job. So the bow. Uh, Dennis had a good, uh, good cussing session, getting this thing out. What did it? That not one. Not this. Not that. Broken this. tools. So that one worked. This one worked for one side. This one worked on the other. And it was like made of like cast aluminum or whatever. So we got this out. And dude, it was hilarious. I, I missed it on the camera. Dennis was like, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I'm done with this one. You're done with this one, bro. He's been trying. Seriously? Who is DJing this party? <laughs> they got Sally. Oh, man. They had uh, Sir Mix Lot before. Uh, we are testing out the MR2. Uh, fuel cell here. We put some more fuel in it. It wasn't really enough to kind of do any damage or see any uh, fuel pressure in it. So we are trying to rig up a, a way to start the car. Uh, before we had this battery, we put ex um, uh, jumper cables onto this battery, onto the wiring here, but the, the battery is so far away from the engine, it's, it doesn't have enough juice to kind of start the, like, uh, what is the word? to kick on the start, yeah, kick, on, kick the start. on the starter. So we are rigging up a temporary battery fixation. This is not gonna be the battery that goes in here. I gotta remeasure this cause I gotta see what optimum battery is gonna be best to fit into there. So right now um, we're having it set up on infinity right now, AM infinity, looks like a ghost. So uh, the engine is set up for all motor temporarily. It doesn't even have, I gotta make sure this thing maybe isn't even in gear. I gotta put it on neutral. Yeah, you can do it by hand though. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and turn it by hand. Let's see if it registers any voltage. See in the computer. Ah, we're getting some voltage. So open it all the way up. Okay, well, it's kinda hard to reach over here. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. All the way down, all the way uh, as much as you can. That's down all the way. That's down all the way, stop. Okay. Wait, you can let go now. Perfect, okay. So we set the throttle. Um, okay, now it's on. Yep. See the, you hear the main relay? I did. Let's see if we can get the fuel pump to turn on. Okay. Oh, ooh, that's not Okay, good. well, we know the starter works. Now starter we have juice. That's the fuel pump. That's the, that's not the fuel pump. That is the water, water pump. pump. Pressure. Yeah, there we go. We're going, we're at 20, 40, 50. We're pegged at 50. You're good. So you can hear it rotate over once now. All right, we need to hit, we need to hit up Carlos. What up, G? Shalom, brother. Yo. Uh, we're trying to start the MR2 right now. Okay. So fuel pressure works. Okay. When we try to do the starter, it doesn't go like, tut, 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 tut. it goes, it clicks on one time and it goes. Weep. Okay. So it's one of two cases. Okay. Either A, the starter solenoid, because if there's, if there's power, if there's, okay. So there's, there's power to engagement. But there's no constant power, maybe. Get the power probe, put power and ground of the power probe to the battery, and get your the power probe tester go straight to the top of the starter. Okay. Where, where the main power is. Okay. And see if there's 12 volt there after you hit the button. Because if, if there's a faint 12 volt, okay, okay. it'll still look Same like 12 on. volt unless you hit the starter. So hit the starter as you're holding the power probe there and see if the voltage drops below 12. If Can I do it on the data log to see if the voltage drops? I need to know. The voltage is not going to drop in general. It's only going to drop at the starter. Oh, I see. I need you to test not not the little speaker connector, but the main power input of the starter. Okay. The little speaker connector is working. That's what you're hearing is the engagement of the starter. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you know. All that shit, and then let me know. All right, peace. All right. Thank you, G. Bye. <laughs> it's true. We can put it in gear.
All right, guys, we are back here. Uh, we swapped out starters. Uh, I bought a starter for a K24, like an Accord starter, but I don't know if there was an issue with this one. We had a replacement starter for a uh, RSX Type S. The, I don't know, the gear in it seemed to, like it was a little bit shorter, like it was a little further back, so maybe that was an issue. We don't know. Uh, the starter signal wire, unfortunately, if you guys can see here, we had to extend this. This is very temporary, but you know, we just, I just want to hear at least the starter engage and turn the motor over consistently. Yeah. So let's, uh, hold on, let me put the, wait, I gotta put the battery back on. All right, we got some of that noise, start PC logging. Fire in the hole. Let's see if it cranks. Just see if it cranks over. There you go. Yes! It was a starter. Okay, it was a starter. Give me fuel pump. Start me. She started. She started. There was a lot of clacking, but yes, save log. Uh, first start. That shit started right up. No leaks. So far. <laughs> no leaks because uh, there's no liquid mostly. <laughs> well, no fuel. fuel oh, no yeah. Oh, yeah. No leaks. No leaks. Well, she started, ladies and gentlemen. Some excess oil. That's fine. All right, guys. She started, uh, man, I'm, I'm like super excited right now. So it started up, it sounded, it sounded pretty good. Um, I mean, there are probably vast uh, vacuum leaks that's going on with the, the motor right now. We got some, some heat because some, uh, some of the grease from our hands were burning off the header. But listen, there's no coolant running through this thing, so I just didn't want to keep it started forever. But it started right up. Yeah, like right up. Like right up. Like, boom. Than most cars I know. So, uh, cross fingers, compression is good. Um, I heard a little ticking. I did. I heard a little ticking. Do you hear a little ticking? Yeah, but I think that's just valve train noise because we don't have any like the coolant passages on or anything. So you're hearing it through the holes probably here too as well. You're oh yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I was hearing some ticking. I was like, okay, but I mean, I don't really know. I mean, it started right up. Did you do a valve lash maybe? Check over it. Yeah, typically what you want to do from, with a with a motor that you just build is you want to, typically you want to break in the motor and then after everything like does a heat cycle or so, you kind of double check to make sure your valve lash is still within spec, but that fucker started up though. It started up. That stuck started up though. It started up. Uh, I'm happy. I I'm excited. Uh, thank you to Dennis staying over here and like helping me sort this shit out. But I just wanted to make sure like, oh, okay, oh, does the wire work? Is there anything like, typically like there's a problem with certain things this wasn't on or this was taken off or whatnot, but she ran and I'm excited. We might have to do one more for the ground, bro. We might have to do one for the ground. Guys, uh, this is a long time coming. Ready? Let's go, let's do it. Woo! Let's do it. Ah! We coming! I'm coming for you. Again, and uh, share with everyone my happiness. Uh, right now, if you guys are wondering, I am going for the all-motor MR2 record, uh, which is a 12-0 from Hux Racing. Uh, since I got this one started, we got to tidy some stuff up, kind of get the coolant passages um, situated with this car, because 
There's no coolant passages right here. There was supposed to be a swirl pot, but it kind of gets in the way of the fuel rail. But we kind of have everything we need. And uh, I just need to put a little tune in this thing and have some fun. So it was a starter all along. Um, I hate that, but I'm gladly I had a replacement starter to fix it. But um, yeah, got to break this motor in. Finish the cooling, break the motor in. Um, what else? Break the motor in. Tune. Coolant. Coolant. We gotta make sure alignment, make sure this thing goes straight. We need bigger rims for the front to fit the big brake kit. We need bigger rims for the front. There's a giant list right there of what we need. Oh, dang. Look at this. This is why I cannot live without Dennis right now. He has, he has uh, helped me, and we have to make a battery battery holder for the front and yeah, do some little more fabs. But at least it starts. So, dude, I put this motor together. I threw a lot of money at it, and it was like, please just fucking work for once. It does. So it does work. Um, yeah, I'm excited, dude. I'm freaking ecstatic. And uh, we so too. Absolutely I'm We got a lot of more projects too. We got Dennis. Dennis doing a little D series build as well. Uh, for all you D series guys, we wanted to keep and do a low budget build to have a lot of fun with. Uh, we'll do a special on his his hatch. Super clean, probably one of the cleanest hatches in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm excited to work with that. Showcase that. Showcase his skill because he can get with it with engines, motors, anything. Uh, and if you need any automotive parts, he got the plug. That's the plug right there. Uh, link down below to his IG. If you need some parts, he's going to help you with that as well. Anyway, guys, uh, until next video, we did get it started. Hip hop, hooray. Please like, please subscribe. Shout out. Take care. Peace.